obviously, I'm just, I'm just thrilled for our guys. And the game didn't start like we had hoped. Um, you know, they they kind of took it to us. We knew they would have motivation. Obviously, they they got they got their butts kicked the other day at, at Iowa State. We knew that. Um, the last time that happened, when they lost to Oklahoma State, they came back in Oklahoma, but we weathered the storm. Uh, I think the biggest lead was either seven or nine. Uh, we just kept grinding and, and and fought through it. We fought through foul trouble. We fought through a bunch of stuff. Obviously, Mark was helped to stay in it in the first half mark smith and and nigel made a couple big shots and we you know missing layups missing free throws were right there and i told our guys to just give yourself a chance i thought the start was good uh we we were pretty good defensively especially early in the second half then Carr got going he's a really really talented player and um you know it just it, it's a great team win obviously uh Mark Smith, special effort, 22 points, big shots, big rebounds. Uh, you know, Nigel made plays, but Mike McGurl's poise and pace and and two games in a row, I just keep emphasizing to him, make simple, make simple basketball players. You do that, you're a good player. And it was great for him. Couldn't be thrilled, more thrilled for him. Marquise, it wasn't quite his day today, but he gets that rebound, gets fouled, makes the free throws. He has an assist to, to Mike McGurl and then the big assist to Nigel down the stretch. That um, that was a huge play that made the difference. We go small ball, small ball, small ball at the end. The biggest guy, 6'4", Mark probably. And I, ironically, got two stops at the end. Uh, the first one, you know, we had mo switched Selton onto the car. And then they they went to Jones, and then then the last one Nigel manned up, and Carr missed the shot, and we got the rebound, and you know just thrilled for our guys that we've taken another little step. Thanks, Coach. Uh, we'll go to Mark Rosner with the AP first. You're muted, Mark. So. Sorry, uh, it was just, this is obviously a different team the last two games now that you, know, you have your players back. Um, how much better are they playing? Well, I, I, you know, one, you know, we're playing a lot better. And, and part of it, again, I, I said it a couple of times and people don't listen, don't care. You know, when you, you know, when you don't have people in practice and you don't have the, the coaches and you don't have, you know, we went, you know, for me, I even, I don't feel well to this day, to be honest. And it's 17 days since I tested positive. You know, I think our guys feel better. You know, Mike McGurl again, he sat seven days and then came back. So you had some practices. I think our coaches did a great job. We, they, But I think the biggest thing above all that, our players have taken ownership of our team. And a, a player-driven team is much better than a coach-driven team. And, you know, the good leadership by by Mike McGurl, by Mark Smith. I think uh, Ish has been a good vocal leader, leader Marquise. And then even Nigel slowly but surely uh, is, is speaking up. So it's, uh, you know, we're guarding people. We, we've, they, they had to learn, they had to figure it out. You tell them a lot of things, but sometimes you got to go through it. And they found out this league is tough and you got to guard and be tough. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, if you, if you do that, it gives you a chance. And but we're starting to make good basketball plays, and 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 I think on offensive end, which is which is important. Thank you. Next question to Kellis Robinette. Hey Bruce, congrats on that one. Yep. Um, Thank you. So what? Uh, so now that you've gotten a taste of you know what your team is like at full strength again, what do you get? What do you think you're capable of here down the down the stretch of the season? Well, all we can do is worry about one game at a time. And then that's the whole thing. I've given them a goal where we need to get, obviously our goal is getting the NCAA tournament. Can you, how do you get there? You got to finish in that top seven in our league. And, you know, we can't, we can't worry about, well, we just can worry about Saturday, Kansas. And that's the big thing. Each game, it's a notch in our, in our, you know, time you beat a ranked team, which is almost every game. It, it gives us a, you know, another mark on our resume. Um, you know, but this, it won't mean anything unless we come ready for Kansas on, on Saturday. So we got to keep this. And that was a message after keep the mindset, 
keep the, the team as the number one focus coach Southwell last night. I thought he did a great job at the end of scout and said, if you go to bed, if you're thinking of how I'm going to, how special I'm going to be tomorrow. We're in trouble. But if you're thinking how I can help the team, I think it, uh, you know, we're going to have a good night. And uh, one of the things, you know, it's Martin Luther King day yesterday, we used some different quotes, uh, obviously the one about conviction that, you know, there's a rare point in life where you find something that you're con you have a conviction to make sure it's finished till the end. And, and uh, that's what we're trying to emphasize. And the other thing we talked about is, um, you know, everyone can be great if they have the right mindset and want to serve others. And, and that's uh, right now we got to serve each other. We got to help each other. If we keep that mentality, uh, we got a chance to continue to win games. And, uh, what was the strategy today going from, you know, Bradford to Lingard to late, no bigs at all? How did you work your way through that? Well, we just, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I just told Wyatt and Stan, our bigs got to help us a little bit. And they, they've struggled. We haven't lost total confidence in them, but sooner or later they got to step up. Um, you know, for, you know, we started Davion. We had said, we're going to give Casey the first look if it, you know, if he had some struggles, we were going to go with Carlton and give him a look because he had played against them. You know, Carlton would just make your free throws, and, and he he has a productive first half. And then we went with Ish, and you know we you know it, it's tough for him to guard fives and box out, but he was trying. He cares. Um, and then you know, and then we went at the end. We just said, heck with it. I I said one time, who's our best five defensive players on the court? Because they're just going to run a ball screen and switch and give Carter ball, which heck I would have too. And we gave it to Nigel. We gave it to Mark. Same type of thing. And uh, you know, we 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 manned up, and we got two big stops down the stretch and two huge rebounds. All right. Thanks, Bruce. Travel safe. Thank you. Uh, next question to Cole. Hey, Coach. Yeah, I was just curious about the strategy you mentioned, Marcus Carr. There, um, Selton Miguel seemed like he was the man who was guarding him most of the time. Can you kind of talk about his performance, especially down the stretch after Carr started to cool down a little bit at the end of the game? Yeah, I, you know, we put him, uh, actually put, we thought Marquise could get under uh, Marcus Carr early. He hadn't really seen that kind of pressure, but, you know, Mar uh, Marquise got in some foul trouble. Carr got him in deep in the lane and made some plays over him. Uh, we had, you know, their lead scorer in the last stretch has been Andrew Jones. So that was our, you know, we, you know, we put Selton on him. Uh, and then as the game went on, uh, you know, we had the foul trouble. Selton wasn't in. He's a big body. He, he takes a lot of pride. He's good at getting over ball screens. And, and I, you know, I thought he did a, a really good job down the stretch of, even though it was a switch on the last one and Nigel had to man him up, I thought Selton, Selton was huge. And again, taking ownership of the team, figuring out your role and, and taking pride in it and, and serving our teammates, helping them. How can we help us win? That's what I text them today. How are you going to make a difference in the game? Selton made a difference in the game with his defense. And then, obviously, Saturday, Kansas comes to Bramlage. Um, how do you – we asked Coach Lowry this after the Texas Tech game, but how do you make sure that there's not a letdown going into another well, really big game? You know, again, we're in a hole. We, we got ourselves in a deep hole, and – you know, you, you, we, we, every game matters and you're not going to win them all. I don't think, you know, but what we got to come back and, and you got to get mentally prepared. They've done a great job. Again, team player driven teams are better than coach driven teams always. And uh, they're taking ownership of the team. They've made sure that we're preparing. Uh, we went, we went pretty hard yesterday, but even on, on Sunday, we did some drills, some toughness drills, box out drills. We won the boards 32-41, which shocked me. We had more second chance points, more offensive rebounds. So we, you know, all those things are paying off. I just, we, their minds got to stay in the right place. I think that's the biggest thing if you're worried about a letdown or not. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Uh, next question to Tim Iverson. Hey, Coach, you, you just mentioned rebounding. Um, when, when, when you guys played them here, they, they out-rebounded you by 12. Obviously, you edge them by one. How big of an impact is that for you guys tonight? Oh, it's huge. I mean, that those second-chance points, uh, you know, we just – obviously, we only had 
what, six, seven guys, and they wore us down, and they set their big guys. If you look at their big guy scoring in the first game, I think they had 34, 35 points combined, plus almost, you know, 20-some rebounds. And, you know, they were the difference in the game. And that, that was one thing we brought up in the, in the scout was we can't let them dominate. And, and you know, we've, we've done a lot of box-out drills. Not, you know, I joked on the radio the other day, Mark, we gave him a, I gave him a pad to box out, and he still broke one of our guys' jaws. But, um, you know, he the, the drills we do, it, it's just – making them aware of it and our guys have done a great job and we said five guys to the boards those last two times and everyone's got to be there and we made the plays when it mattered and and then speaking of mark how how special was he tonight especially kind of carrying you a little early there through the first half yeah he kept us in the ball game he they you know he's it's tough for him to guard their big guys but even though he's pretty you know physical and kind of a man child to be honest and you know but he got him on some iso some angle rips and um you know he he's learned it, it go straight line now take it to the hoop use your use your body he's he's made those big plays obviously stepped up on uh, two seconds left on the shot clock made a big three for us um he made the huge three against texas tech but you know he's playing like a, a older guy should and he's and he's really he wants to do well. He knows. I, I told him in December, they're not giving you another COVID year. This is it. So you better make the most of it. And, and he truly has. Uh, next question to Michael Goins. Michael. Yeah, Bruce, just how much does Mark kind of get you guys going with his aggressive play in the early stages of the game? I, I think it was great. His, you know, he kept us in there because they were they were very physical with us. They overplayed a lot. Um, they, you know, they got into Nigel. We thought they would do that. So he just, you know, again, he uses his body, uses angles. He's starting to understand when to go, when to not. But he's also playing with great poise and pace. I thought the second half Texas Tech, some of his drives, he just – Instead of just going, being a bull in a china shop and knocking everyone over, you know, he did it one time tonight. He, he, he is, you know, picking it and choosing it and keeping control and, and just making good plays. And, and so he was, he was no doubt he was huge early. And then the other guys picked it up and he had, you know, we, it was a, again, a great team win. And, you know, you, his play, Mike McGurl, Nigel, and then, you know, every Selton on defense, there's just so many guys that did so many positive things. And how good was Nigel on three different levels of the offense tonight? Long yeah, range, Nigel, range inside. Yeah, Nigel, you know, in that one stretch in the second half, they, um, you know, Coach Southwell, Coach <laughs> Lowry, they're getting mad at him when he gives up the ball. You know, we, we're creating switches. And you got a five-man on, don't give it up. You know, make go make the plays, have confidence, and that's part of his maturation. He's still a young guy and, and getting a feel of it. And, and and we probably at eight forty-five, there was a timeout, and I I thought he was coming out, I because I I wanted to rest him before that TV timeout, and then we the coach said no no he's cooking, so then he never got a rest, and he then we finally got him out at six minutes because. Uh, you know, there's no doubt he was he was getting tired. He kind of lost his pop, but that rest at the end, he made the you know big layup off Marquise pass. Great cut again. He has a tip in against Texas Tech. Now the great layup against off the little feed from Marquise, and we didn't have many assists, but that was a huge one. And then he he stood up and manned up and made a big play on defense down the stretch. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, next question to Arnie Green. Yeah, Bruce, um, you talked about the small ball, but um, I think they're down the stretch. They had about three or four second chance opportunities. Did you kind of, were you kind of second guessing yourself or were you just going to go with? Actually, go with that regardless, we, that wasn't our smallest lineup. The smallest lineup at the end, we got the rebounds, but they, they did get some opportunities. They got us strung out. Um, they do a great job of cutting when they get dribble penetration and you're watching the ball and helping, it's tough to box out. We worked on it for two days and they think, you know, those plays were big to give them a chance to take the lead. Obviously we found a way to get, 
get the lead and get the win at the end and made the plays at the end. They're, they're good. I mean, I was, they were what top five at the start of the year. They're still a good team. Um, you know, they like everyone, they, they're trying to figure some things out. And um, I know coach Beard's one of the best coaches in the country and I'm sure he'll get those guys uh, cooking, but we got to split with them. And that's what all that matters right now. They, we, unless you play them in the tournament, we got to split. Also, um, early on, I think your first 10 points came off the of layups, even though you missed a lot of shots, were you still, did you feel pretty good about the offense? You were, it looked like you were getting in the paint, just weren't finishing. Yeah, not, uh, Selton had a couple. We got it to Carlton. He missed the free throws. You know, again, they overplay and they make you make basketball plays. And, and against them, it's a game of space and you got to keep your space and then you got to make, you got to get angles. Then you got to make the right plays. And, and sometimes it's a layup getting to the hoop. Sometimes it's a jump stop and hitting somebody. Um, and then other times it's, uh, you know, you got to make a play on your own. So they, they make you play one-on-one. -on -one. We had only seven assists the first game. I think it was 10 tonight. Um, but in the last one was a huge one, but yeah, we had tennis. Yeah, they had 10. We only had seven again. So two games in a row, uh, seven, and that was the one thing we had talked about, getting more assists, but we had a huge one down the stretch. Thanks. Yep. Okay, we're going to do one last question for Coach, for Ryan, and then we're going to go to Mark Smith and Mike so we can get out of here, guys, okay? Go ahead, Ryan. Hey, Coach. Uh, how much of a relief has it been over these last, over these last two? A relief? Yeah, how much of a relief oh, has it I been? I mean, you got to win games. You know, we want to be a factor, and that's what I challenged them, you know, to. And you know, I'm just, I'm just happy for them and and our staff. We've, we've been through. I, I said it before, a bad dream, maybe a nightmare, and and they've stayed together. They, it's, it's hopefully made them tighter. Uh, the haircuts, you know, they brought, they came together and decided to make hair, get haircuts. They, you know, I don't know if it did anything, but I thought just the camaraderie that they all went and did that or a lot of them did it, I think it was really positive. A couple of them have some bad hairdos and they probably need to, but, um, you know, we just, uh, you know, it's, it's it, they, they've taken ownership and I'm just proud of them, happy with them. I thought we were pretty efficient offensively in the second half. You look at the stats, Texas Tech in this game, good numbers, 50% shooting, 52 maybe, uh, you know, 40 or so from three, you know, just a lot of good plays and, they're learning. You got to learn how to win. You got to learn how to be a team. Now we got to keep it. They, they, it's We can't get emotionally drunk because Kansas is coming in. We got to have the same toughness and discipline and, and play the right way if we're going to have a chance to beat another ranked team. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Okay, Coach, thank you. Appreciate it. We'll